Well, in a speech that went on for well over an hour today, outgoing Warren Mayor Jim Fouts took plenty of parting shots at his political foes. A city ordinance that Fouts fought against in court bars him from running for another term. He is still not happy about that. Megan Woods live on this story for us tonight. He had a lot to get off his chest, Megan. That's right, Devin. Kimberly, this was supposed to be his state of the city address, but majority of it was spent criticizing city council members as well as the judges involved in that court of appeals case. This is the most hostile council in the history of Warren. That's why we call it the council from hell. Mayor Jim Fouts started his state of city speech with what the next mayor should focus on. We need to do something about state, county and city roads. We need to have better coordination. It's chaos, it's conflict and it's a mess. So if I were mayor again, I would make that a high priority. Then just a few minutes in, he shifts gears. Now I'd like to go to a group of people that I feel obligated to devote some time to, and they like attention anyways. And I want to talk about the dysfunctional accidental city council. The Warren mayor then accused city council of mistreating black city leaders like the fire commissioner and city attorney. He also called out court of appeals judges. Here's some serious questions about the court and specifically about Mr. Kavanaugh who's been in office for 35 years and said to Jim Fouts, you've been in office too long. He ended with briefly talking about current and upcoming projects and encouraged residents to stay invested in their community. I apologize for the lengthy presentation. I apologize for the late start, but please, whatever you do, go out and vote. At the end of that program, the Warren Chamber of Commerce, who hosted this event, honored uh, the mayor with a honorary membership. Back to you. Well, Megan, he clearly doesn't want to be done, so I'm, I'm wondering whether he hinted at any future plans for himself. So, being that he was uh, given that honorary uh, membership, he is able to advise the Warren Chamber of Commerce. But as of right now, he didn't mention anything else about, yeah. you know, his future plans other than how much he loves the city of Warren. All right, Megan.